Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Dezo, and this is episode number six of uh, the Minecraft Let's Play. And uh, it's kind of early in the morning, and uh, today's Saturday, so uh, hello. You guys are probably going to see this episode this episode on Sunday. No, Saturday. Yeah, you're going to see this episode today. I'm going to take my phone out of my pocket so it doesn't vibrate on me anymore. And, uh, okay, so what I've done here, you've probably seen this in the last episode. I haven't really mentioned it. It's just that I've done this because they keep suffocating in the walls so yeah, there you go that's that's what that is they're just going to be sitting there for a little bit till they learn to behave themselves um so i've cleared out a bit of land over here um kind of off camera but since i haven't really talked about much last episode um i didn't really show this off so there you go here is the stuff this is the area i'm going to clear out a little bit more of this we have to make this a little bit more smooth a little bit more even let me do something real quick. Turn on V-Sync because I'm getting weird screen tear issues. Anyway, um, what's been going on with you guys? Um, you guys have been very, very active with me on Twitter and in the comments. And I'm really thankful for that. So, thank you very much, guys. It means a lot. Um, and uh, it's really cool to know that whenever I can ask a question now, especially on Twitter, I only have about 137 followers. Um, I always, pretty much always get a response. So... This is not really natural looking, we're going to have to fix that up a little bit later. But what we need to do right now is make a sheep farm. And uh, that's what this episode is going to be mainly about. We're going to be doing this, and then I'm going to just hop into the next video when we're done with it. Because um, we, or I, am leaving on Sunday, Sunday night, to go to this resort in Pennsylvania called the Woodlands. And uh, it's a very nice place. We go there a lot, really. Um, we know a lot of people there, and uh, that's why we go. It's quite a nice place. What am I here for? Oh, yeah. Look at this. We're so low on stuff. Very little iron, too. Okay, we need the fences. Do I have? Yes, I do. We need these sticks, too, for the fence gate. Okay, let's uh, make one. Mm, no, that was not enough. Okay, just make one of these little formations. Bam. <clears throat> Why do I have so much cobblestone on me? <laughs> Let's drop some of this stuff off. We'll keep one stack. And we'll we'll keep a stack of dirt. Over here we can drop off this stuff. And uh, we may even work on this egg farm today. But we'll see how it turns out. It's almost nighttime. Eh, whatever. We could tough it out until it gets enough to sleep. So, this is probably just going to be the same design. Nothing too special. I want to have a space between them. Probably an odd space in case I want to build some kind of house around this or something. Um, just I was I was just kind of thinking of this off camera. So yeah, we're gonna make it the same size. So let's count this out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen on this side. And this side is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven by thirteen. So this way we can have one, two, three, four, five gate yep and one two three four five let's torch these up and now let's go this way 11 no 13 here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then we can just kind of box the rest of this thing off okay and just finish off this wall and very nice. So now, what the what the job is, the job, why am I saying it like that? What we have to do is we have to pretty much figure out a way to make sure that there's grass on the floor of this place too, because grass is really important to sheep. So we're going to see if this if we can get this grass to kind of spread over into onto these pieces of grass. We'll light this up a little bit too, like that. And uh, hopefully, um, if this all goes as planned, um, we'll, we'll be able to have a sheep farm. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of upset that I lost that super fast pickaxe. This would have been so much easier with it. And uh, I was thinking in some of the future episodes that are upcoming, we can have uh, a little project where we make the skeleton farm. Because I found the skeleton and zombie spawners that I don't think I showed on camera. But also, somebody sent me a video. Um, I think it was yesterday or two days ago. He sent me a video showing the location of a skeleton spawner. 
and it's actually in the desert. You see that cactus right there? It's right under that cactus. We can just dig right down there. It's at Y level 14, but I don't want to use those because like uh, I didn't find them legit. And uh, so I'm gonna ask you guys. Oh, I, I saw his world by the way. He was playing exactly how I was playing. It's pretty cool. We have like I, I didn't put up a world download, so he was just building along with me. But um, he he found some stuff for me, so um, I, I appreciate that he did that. But it's kind of spoiling the fun for people who like me finding stuff. So, though I appreciate it, please, uh, no more of that. You gotta leave that grass, it'll spread soon. Anyway, so, ooh, we got some coal. That's always good for the soul. Coal for the soul. So, we're almost done with the sheep farm. We're definitely gonna move on to the chicken farm after this. And uh, this video is probably gonna be short because... As I've said, I'm going on a little bit of a vacation, and I want to record for today, for tomorrow, for Monday, and for Tuesday, and for Wednesday. I'll be home on Wednesday, and I can record for Thursday, and, and so on. Let's throw down some lights so we can get some spreading going on. And uh, so my plans are, I have it written down on a piece of notepad paper. That's not true. I have a notepad document open on my computer, on my second monitor. And uh, so what I have for tomorrow, your, the video for tomorrow is going to be me building a house for myself. I thought of a design that I saw um, another YouTuber whose name I shall not mention. He built something with this design and uh, I also know MK builds with this kind of style as well. And so I've decided, why not? It's a really cool looking style. Um, but MK really uses a lot more glass and a lot more leaves than I intend to. She likes the bushes. And uh, <laughs> that was kind of inappropriate. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna be using a couple, a few less bushes than she is, but it's all gonna be- oh, what the heck's going on with the sound? Is that on my end or? Okay, so um, I'm not gonna be using as many bushes, but I'm gonna be using pretty much her style. It's gonna be pretty much out of sandstone, very good. What's going on with the sound? I'm not sure if that's- that was weird, I, just, I hear this. <laughs> it's kind of strange. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop recording here. I'm gonna go check out the situation, and I, I'm actually gonna go take a nap right now. So, I'll be right back. Well, these creepers are definitely making my life easier. Another one just blew up over there. I don't know what the deal is with this like audio weirdness, but I just played through in Fraps. Wait, no, I, I played through the recording that I recorded with Fraps. And uh, it did the same audio thing again, and just now another creeper blew up over there, and it did un like that same audio glitch. It sounds like <laughs> <laughs> that was a very bad explosion sound, but you guys get the deal. And uh, yeah, so I have to figure that out. I Whoa! Holy crap! That's some laggy ass stuff. Okay, I think it broke our fence. Nether? What am I saying? Our fence gate? I don't think I've actually uh, put it down though. So. Yeah, so as you guys can see, we are done with this. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's get our O. Let's let our OCD get the best of us. Nope, that's not right either. There you go. And uh, yeah, we gotta get out of here. We gotta grab a ladder, and we're gonna be finished with this farm. We're gonna start luring some sheep into there. There's already our first victim over there, and we're gonna need to grab some of that stuff. And we got some bones. We can just bone meal some stuff right now, just to let it grow, S expedite. Expedit it <laughs> the process So let's see let's see what the wheat situation is. We only have three pieces We're gonna need that we're gonna need ladders Just one Um, Let's get this let's get this on the bar as well. I Think I think that's enough now. We'll just go harvest some stuff Grab you grab you whoa Okay, everything's going well. Now we just replant, as we do. A lot of people have been asking me where my Feed the Beast series went. And uh, that server that I play on, I still talk to everyone there. I just very rarely play on it because, like, I don't really... I started off kind of liking Feed the Beast, but now I'm just not really into it. It's too, like, much. It's not really what I expected. I thought it would be, like, Minecraft learning and... All that stuff, but feed the beast, especially with Greg Tech on hard. I liked it before, but with Greg Tech on hard, you can't get any of the cool stuff in Feed the Beast anymore. And I play on a server where they play on Greg Tech with 
hard mode and whatnot. So if you guys don't know what Greg Tech is, he's this guy who goes through all the mods and he makes them a shit ton harder, as though not to make them overpowered, but now they're underpowered. So it's kind of not solving any problems there. And um, for example, you need a nether star to make a portal gun. What's that like? That's just not letting people use portal guns anymore. So, like, I mean, unless you have a nano saber and all that stuff to kill them really quickly with. So, we need to start luring some sheepsies in here. Let's go grab. I'm going to call you six. Because this is the episode in which we made these farms. Um, as for the Enderman farm, that's going to be coming soon enough. I need to get to the snow biome. Um, we were, I already was growing pumpkins over there, you guys probably saw. I need to get to a snow biome, get some snow, so we can make the snow golems, or golems, or however you pronounce it. And then we can make that, that snow factory thing. If you guys know what that is, you pretty much put him in a corner, press him with a piston. I'm getting frame rate issues. Press him with a piston into the corner, and then the block in front of him, snow grows on him. And as long as the piston's extended and he's being pushed onto that block, snow is going to stay there. So you're going to keep breaking it with your shovel, and then the snow is going to keep coming back. And you get a lot of snow that way, which is very good for building material for the Enderman farm. Hope that wasn't too confusing. So let's grab sheep number two. We'll call you 6-2. <laughs> Why not? But yeah, there's, no, there's not really a point to naming these guys, especially because they're going to be... Actually, we're not going to be slaughtering these. We don't need their food. We don't eat goat meat. Don't trample. Whatever you do, don't trample my crops. So I'm kind of liking this world. We're going to start. We're going to get a head on to making an actual normal house. A lot of people don't understand why I don't want to build there. And I don't really understand that either. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll cave in, change my entire plan. Maybe make it the village up there. It's going to be really hard to get villagers up there, though. Just go past here. I don't think these guys are going to have too much trouble suffocating. And those cows are going to get moved pretty soon. So, uh, or they're, well, we don't really need them too much. We just need them for their steak. So I just keep them there so I can breed them massively without them suffocating. And then, oh yeah, let's breed these guys. You and you. There you go. Guys can make a sex of time. Okay. Um, so I was thinking, I really wanted to, oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to go get some supplies for making the chicken farm. But I was thinking about what we're going to do since we don't have nether wart. And this thought came into my head. There's a way to get them in the overworld without going through the nether. The answer is witches. And this is, this is the thought that's going through my head. Don't be like, no, Dave, though, you don't get nether wart just yet. But I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm getting this thought. I'm watching Doc M's video about his like sheep farm and stuff. And I, what, what am I saying? I'm watching his video. He went to his witch farm and I saw him getting some stuff. I'm like, oh. What if they drop nether wart? Then I can get nether wart from them. Oh, we got melon seeds too. We gotta plant those. Um, and so I'm thinking, and then I get like the saddest like face. I'm like, you can't get nether wart from them. I go to the wiki. I, I confirm my hypothesis, and you just cannot get them. Look how sad my face is. <laughs> anyway, enough sad faces. I don't know what I'm gonna do without nether wart. I love potions and everything about them. But I don't knew I don't knew what we're gonna do. Um, any suggestions? I don't know what you guys can tell me. There's really not much to do. But let's let's get going on our chicken farm. So we have a couple of eggs there. Hopefully not for two chickens. They're totally random. So we're gonna need a couple pieces of wood for this. So the way this is gonna work, I, I hate this door. I hate it with a burning passion. We're gonna need a bucket of water. I think I died with it. So we have to make another one. We'll make two of them so, so we can make infinite water sources. Okay, there you go. Two buckets. So we're going to need some signs too. So let's grab our wood. At least we're good on wood. Um, let's make a couple more sticks. Like that. And bam. This is probably more than enough signs. Actually, you know, you never know. <laughs> that's the that's a saying that I really like to use. You know, you never know. But, yeah, so let's put this chicken farm in the mountain, you know? I think we can get away with it. How would this work? Mm, no. We probably can, but I kind of want to see them, so. Let's just go over here into this flat area. I don't think there's any other farms we can do besides those two. I mean, we can actually have 
a sheep farm or a pig farm, but we don't have any carrots from villagers villages So I think we can Just focus on making a chicken farm over here. So we're gonna need an 8 by 8 So one two this is one block two block three block fours five six seven eight Just like that and uh, it's not the same size But we need to grab some more fences if we're gonna have any hopes of doing this and uh, the way this is gonna work is we're gonna have signs holding up water and since chickens and all mobs pretty much float to the top of any water source or anything like that, let's grab these ladders for future purposes. We'll make a bunch more of these fences. We just do this, that was kind of pointless. Like that. Make a bunch more of those. I just got the mail. I hope you guys didn't just hear the mailbox. But we got enough fences now for our operations. Now we can head over to the area in which we will be making our farm. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And then we can just go over here, line this up. Is that right? It is not right. And we just break this with our torch. We shall torch it, which makes no sense because we're not letting it on fire. Okay, so we're just going to outline this with fences, very simplest of designs. And uh, the way this is going to be set up is we're not going to need an entrance to this place from the top. We're going to need an entrance from the bottom. And uh, I'll show you what I mean. We're not really getting chickens here for their meat. We're getting it for their eggs. So just like that will be fine. And break this finally, and we'll just break this middle one so we can enter it. Come on, let's go. So we're going to need, I think, let's see, we're going to need one down for water, another down for the signs, another down, and another down. There you go. Perfect. We need four down for us and for the eggs to fall through. We can just make a complete, uh, completely automatic system and just be three down, but um, it's just that we're not going to be using it. So I'm going to kind of cut this part out, so I'm just going to keep doing this and we'll be back. You know, guys, I was thinking, I don't think we really need this much because water is going to come together. I think we really need a six by six. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fill up this hole. This is not going to take too long. We're only going to need a six by six area instead of an eight by eight. Just, just like this will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. So someone actually asked me in the comments of episode three, I believe it was, or four, um, whenever I made the cow farm. Why do I need these fences if there's a hole in the ground and the reason is because we don't want mobs in our farm We don't want to be able, like we want to be able to go down to our farm and see That there's only cows in it and not I don't know silverfish or whatever You never know what can come down in your farm Dinner bonus made this game exceptionally hard. It's a good thing and a bad thing because you know <laughs> The good part is that hard mode is supposed to be hard the bad part is that hard mode is a standard on YouTube, and that's pretty much what you want to be playing at, because it's kind of the most entertaining of footage, but I'm not going to get anywhere if I'm playing on the snapshot. So hopefully, he makes skeletons a bit easier to fight. Um, I really like the fire zombies let you on fire thing, but uh, it's, it's very dangerous now. So this is all the room we need, so I think we could have made too many signs. So what we need now, is this even now? Oh, it's an odd number now, huh? I see, I see, I see. So we're going to need to extend this by one. Let's just go, hang on, probably wasting your time here. Um, this is going to be, let's extend it on this side, I guess. Let's chop down these fences. And I mean, the, si the size really doesn't matter. We can make it a 5x5 five five if we really wanted to save on our stuff. But we wanted to kind of have some kind of standard of having pretty large farms. I, we can make two by like two of them right next to each other and still fit within the 13 allotment that we have, if you know what I mean. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's our kind of dilemma type thing. But there's nothing to worry about in that respect. But we got to get on making this farm. So I can start recording the next episode for you guys. And uh, someone asked me if I batch render. And uh, what that means is you record in bulk. I guess, well, no, that's not really what it means, but this is what he meant by it. He meant if I recorded it in bulk and, uh, like, then cut it up and then started uploading videos. But I'm going to do that this time, but not really, not usually. Are we going to extend this one back, too, to keep it a square? 
that might be something we have to do. I'm probably wasting your time. So, yeah, we're just gonna chop down this fence as usual. And then we're gonna extend it. Uh, where's our fences? Press eight on the keyboard. And now we extend it like this. I think it's going to be the same size as it was before, or at least very similar to it. This is 7x7 seven seven now. Just going to finish off these last couple. Alright, and now we're going to take down these guys. And we're going to punch out a little bit of an exit for us. Just like this. And we can actually have a collection system. It'll be a very cool one. But yeah, here let's let me show you how this works. So we're gonna set up a bunch of signs, and they're just gonna be placed on top of each other. It took me like the longest time when I saw somebody build this kind of farm design. I was I was trying to put them on the sides of each other, which does not work. I mean it does work, but it's just gonna be like that, which is kind of useless in our situation here. So I think that's all we can go. Yep. And we're just gonna continue this design. Let's write little messages. Hi. My <laughs> name is um I was, I was thinking something clever to say but da dozo del yeah my name is del <laughs> whatever sa doesn't really matter what these signs say and we're out of signs in that row we need a lot more signs actually i underestimated this project very poor on my side. We're gonna need to fiddle, fiddle with this. That's not gonna work. So let's get rid of this. We should get rid of that. If we get rid of these signs, all these will fall too. So, huh? How is how is this gonna work? I got it. Make this one go a little bit lower. We're not really gonna need this for now, but I'm just gonna keep this here anyway. Oh, break through these. And now we can have all the room we need. Put all the signs we want. We got an A on that one. And we'll just start putting these two down. We're going to go make some more signs. Because we need to fill this entire floor with those signs. And we can't walk on them. They're completely transparent. But the good thing about signs is that they can hold up water. And we're going to need that because we're going we're gonna to flood that area. And we're going to have them keep our chickens in that water suspended so they're gonna be laying eggs and we're gonna be throwing those eggs back in there they'll create more eggs we can have cake we can have like we can we can then collect those eggs that makes I mean more fences holy crap I'm not on my game let's take some of these signs days of signs do not make fences this is your conscience do not make fences Okay, now we'll take these sticks. Thing that could be enough signs. Hope I'm not crazy, because I'm definitely about to be. Oh, I love this about the snapshot. Look at this. Bam, bam. What? Huh? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. There you go. That wasn't supposed to be a problem anymore, but I guess I did it too fast or something. Okay. So let's grab our signs again, hold them in our hand. As we frolic over all the way over here, we can probably make a little bit of a pathway. And uh, let's just go like this. Okay. Place these last couple signs down. Uh, now what we can do is we can hop back over here and we'll put our water down like this. Just like that. And you can see it's it's not going down into this hole over here. We're pretty much under it. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to grab some more of the water. There's a water source over here. And just one more. And then we can hop back over. And we can place these corners now. And then the last one over here. 
We're going to need some iron, and we're going to need a chest. This chest is going to go right here. This iron is going to go like that. And there you go. The worst thing in Minecraft is the hopper item in the hot bar. However, it works. And uh, also, before I go, I need to make another chest. Okay. We got our chest. We got our stuff. We got a messy inventory as well. So we got everything we need. On the way, we can grab some more water. And now, now that our farm is complete, at least the, the top part of it. We're going to have some chickens floating over there in the middle. We can lure them in here, but we're going to need some seeds for that. So instead, we're just going to be hatching eggs. So before we do anything else, however, we need to set this system up here. So we can have... Oh, I can't see. <laughs> Probably should have done this first. No, 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 no. There we go. I guess that works. Is that all good? It is all good. Okay. So now, what we're going to need is maybe some kind of fence or iron bars or something. But you know what we're going to do? Grab our dirt. We're going to extend this until the water can't go anymore. We're going to place our hopper. No, we're going to need a chest. So, chest will be right here. Hopper right on top of it. Hop around top, and now you can see if I can do this right. All the items that are going to come in through there are going to go in the hopper. And oh, yeah, this is a hopper inventory. We got to figure a way to do this too. I keep lowering the ground so we can just come in and check our chests, and we'll be all fine. Um, we could do this setup, but how can we make this any better? I don't think items can go up. Um, well, they can, but hoppers can only transfer them down. And this is kind of getting ridiculous with the lowness factor of it. But either way, that's how it works. So we can AFK here. All the eggs are going to come down into this chest. And uh, we can figure out, maybe, do I have stairs? I think I have stairs from when I made the strip mine. So let's just hop on over. Whoa. And let's get, let's get, oh, there they were. We can start cleaning up that farm a little bit. It's kind of messy. Do I still have my shovel? No, that broke. There broke a while ago. So, Oakwood Stairs. Hmm. How can we, how can we improve this design? We can put ice there when we get Silk Touch. There's no one stopping us from doing that. I think we can get some dirt right there. Mm -mm, that's still too high. So we take our stone axe. There's a lot of trial and error in this episode, but there's no problems with that, I hope. Don't hit me, please. Just go like that. No. We're going to have... We're going to go up here. down our dirt. It'll still be grass soon enough. And ladder, or stair, 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 and stair. Awesome. Now we just have to make sure that this grass spreads. Other than that, we just fill this in. And we know that this grass will spread. And uh, we just gotta take this off real quick. Perfect. So, when this is gonna spread, we'll fill this hole in. And uh, this will be, this will have to go to, oh no, we need that to spread. Eh, we'll see. Hopefully it'll spread to here. For now, we just take this out. Put that there, so it works. And uh, the, the chickens are going to drop their eggs over here. They're going to fall in here. We're going to grab them out of the chest. Because the hopper will drop them. The dropper will hop them. So, okay, now we need to focus on getting our chickens there. So what we're going to do for this, I've planned this all out. Actually, I've done this before, so I know how to do this. So, we're going to go like that. And then like that, and then like that. We can destroy this dirt right behind it. And then we could just go back home. We could take another nap. And we can get our eggs that we have. And hopefully, hopefully, 
if everything goes well and so many bad things stop happening, uh, we can have a fully functioning egg farm. So, let's grab all of our eggs. Hopefully we can get two chickens out of it. I heard you, Enderman. I need to kill some Enderman so I can fully functionally get inside the end. Just trying to get through the water. That's pretty cool. Zero. Exactly what I thought would happen. No worries, though. We have... We just break this. Now we're going to go head out into the wilderness. Oh, there's a creeper there. There you go. Oh, I thought there was something behind me. Um, let's see. Is there a chicken in the house? Hello? Will the real slim chicken please stand up? Please stand up. All right, now check this out. Here we go. We're going to lead them over here into the... No, 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 no. Hello. Hello, everybody. Here you go, get in the water. Very warm here. Check this out. Now, they're gonna be floating there for Evzors. Okay, well, there's no way out for me there, is there? So they can't fight the current. And they're gonna be sitting there forever. And then this block's gonna stay. I'm gonna change this block to wood. That's why I didn't center it. So we can just go like this. And voila. We have a piece of wood. You know what we can do? Even better it. That was a weird glitch. Nope. There you go. We can break all this stuff and check this out. Now that that's all broken, that's going to be over there in the system. And uh, while we're breaking all this, we don't have to actually go down there to get our blocks anymore. What we can do is just hop down over here. Um, we can wait for them to enter the hopper wherever they went. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. We just flooded our whole system. There we go. We fixed the problem. Um, what's going on with this water? Is it all good? No, we made a bunch of water sources where they don't belong. So, I think that fixes all the problems, actually. Except one. A chicken fell through. Oh, no, it didn't. Now, all the problems are solved. And, again, there's no way for me to get out. But, the way this works is, the chicken's gonna drop an egg, just like this. Egg's gonna go down in the water system over there. Wait, hold I didn't just pick that up. Drop another one, just in case. Let's hop out of this water here. Wait, did I just jump on the fence? <laughs> that was pretty weird. Anyway. The dirt's going to fly through here into the... Oh, wait a minute. That's an issue. That is not... That's not... The water's not good here yet. We have to fix the water a bit. Let's see. It's all flowing this way. What if we put water in this corner here? And we can... Grab the other water bucket. Now it's all flowing toward the middle. Come on, let me through. Another source over here, maybe? Push most of it this way. I think now it's good. And just in case we're flooding that system over, we can just put a sign right in there. We'll, we'll fix that out from here. That's actually pretty cool. That works. We don't have to put a sign anywhere, but we're going to do it anyway. And uh, what's going on there? Perfect. That's really cool. So the items are going to just float over. Let's just test it out. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, now they're going to fall through. That chicken's not actually there. Okay, now we're waiting for them to come through. There they are. They're going to get sucked up by the hopper, and we're going to get them right from here. Very nice. Um, otherwise, they're just going to feed automatically to the chest, and we can pick them up at a time that works for us. But anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. We got a little bit accomplished. Let's fix this fence over here. Um, a lot of back and forth, a lot of trial and error. Not too, not too organized of an episode, but you know, I'm getting there. 
and uh, we're going to have a lot better episodes in the future. I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, for those who are looking forward to the FT2C series, I haven't recorded that with Terrace this time because uh, we were going to record last night, but uh, Terrace was busy, so we couldn't really do anything then. So we're going to record today, and we're probably going to put out the video tomorrow. Um, but if that does not work out and it just comes out later in the week, we're not going to miss, we're, ne we're definitely not going to miss next week. So, yep, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys either tomorrow or the day after, depending on if FT2C comes out tomorrow. See ya. Thanks for watching.